Good morning. All right, what can we expect today? What can we expect the defense and the prosecution to try to drive home during closing arguments? Well, I think from the prosecution's viewpoint, they want to uh, remind the jury the, of, of the significance of this type of case, bring George Floyd into the courtroom and, and talk about how unnecessary it was for him to die emphasizing how many opportunities he had to do something different. Yeah? For the defense, uh, they, they certainly want to emphasize some of the medical testimony and some of the use of force testimony to give the juror the sense that maybe he should have acted somewhat differently, but he's not ultimately responsible for this death. And so I think that's where the lines are drawn. AL, I want you to give us some insight into jury deliberations. You know, how, how does it go? How can it typically go? I hear that sometimes it really just comes down to people wanting to go home if they're there for too long. Yeah, you know, any lawyer who can tell you uh, what goes on in jury deliberations would be uh, uber wealthy. Uh, nobody knows. It's a closed off process. The jurors go in alone and they deliberate. Uh, I can tell you after talking to jurors after trials, you find out that they focus on things that had nothing to do with the law, nothing to do with the facts. They really are an organism all unto themselves and they organize themselves by their own rules and they make their decisions by their own rules. We don't know what happens in the jury room unless you talk to a juror. And as a lawyer, I'd never make it on the jury. AL, I just want to get back to the closing arguments today. How important is it for the defense uh, to really drive their point home. Is this where they make their their stand or is that really the jury already made up their mind by this point? You know, you're being a criminal defense lawyer. What's your take on that? Well, if you, if you this is the time. This is, this is Eric Nelson's moment to try to save Mr. Chauvin from a conviction. If not now, when? Uh, and it's the opportunity for him to take all of the evidence, put it together, cobble it together and say, there is some reasonable doubt that he's guilty of this. You don't have to uh, think that he's innocent, but there is some reasonable doubt that Mr. Uh, Floyd died of something other than the knee to his neck. AL, thank you so much for your time. We wish we could speak to you a little bit more, but uh, we have to cut it here. We appreciate your time. Thank you.